What is up guys, NYKia34 here, bringing you an online ranked game of Madden 13. First online ranked game in gosh knows how long. This is um, part 4 of my 3-4 uh, defense overview, where I've been showcasing the New York Giants in this ranked game. I'm playing against the Ravens. Um, you may want to review um, the previous videos just so you can get an idea of why I have the Giants set up the way I do as I start out on defense. don't remember all the names of the Giants personnel at the top of my head. Um, the major adjustment is that I have three defensive tackles. Um, Canty, um, Well, I can't read that guy's name there, but he's a friggin' hoss. Uh, JPP, swim move, sack fumble. JPP and Tuck are my outside backers. See some adjustments that I'm making here. Putting Tuck in a uh, purple zone, manually covering the middle. Here comes JPP again. Entra roll is able to roll over, no pun intended. INT. Textbook three deep. And on offense here, I'm using the generic West Coast playbook. I don't use the, um, I don't have my, um, settings to the, um, Bill Walsh playbook. You can't have your settings set up to the, um, classic playbooks on default. So, um, just to make things easier for online ranked purposes, like my default playbook is the generic West Coast playbook. And actually, it does have some bonuses that the um, Bill Walsh one does not. You have the benefit of some shotgun formations, and it's a little easier to be um, balanced between run and pass with some eye and strong eye formations, if that's your thing. And plus, if you need a shotgun set or two. Nope. You're not going to be able to run. That's just straight um, cover three. There's too much mass, too much block shedding, and good tackling. <sighs> that was disappointing. Gotta defend the red zone now. I don't really love the Giants linebackers as far as coverage goes. A couple of them are pretty decent, but here I'm using Blackburn. As he gets on the board, which brings me down. Now I have to come back. And the one thing I don't like about the Giants, the Giants have fumblers. A lot of guys on the Giants seem to put the ball on the ground. Do not let that at all. I hear I think I can give up another long completion because I forget what defense I'm in. So back on D. Pressure again. And I try to switch on to the triangle. I'm jamming triangle and I get no response. Do not like it when that happens. He wants to go for it on fourth down. No sir, you're not going to be able to run. And he eventually gives up on the run altogether. You have three monsters on the defensive line. Tuck and JPP on the edge holding it down. And then you have, you know, linebackers who can do a pretty good job in um, pursuing with uh, Bully and um, Blackburn there. So running is not easy. And he's taken out of bounds. The all tackle. Play number six coming up on this drive. They'll stay on the ground on first down. He's brought down at the 20 yard. The offense. Can the running game go on here? You see the uh, twin eye set out of the um, generic West Coast that um, you don't get from the um, old school Bill Walsh West Coast playbook. There you have a classic West Coast formation and a touchdown. Back on D again. This basic quarters two men under and on this set I have um, JPP and OC at defensive end and Tuck at defensive tackle and I get the INT and the run back well the quarterback was under pressure coming up the running back goes in motion 
Quick drop back. Once we're on that seam, use your pick. So I've kind of pretty much caught on to his game plan. He likes to um, flood the deep seams. So you got to watch out for that. Make sure you have at least three deep and carry one of the vertical guys with um, a hook zone defender. Crossfire blitz here. Controlling an underneath defender. No, sir. Five man pressure with good coverage. Got to be able to use her one of those hook guys. Four man rush. Second down and a long way to go. And that's his best run of the game. This decision. They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. Online ranked. Why not go for it on fourth down, huh? That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Just played that straight. Didn't want to get too risky. Three more opportunities. Check, check, check. Go, go, go. Quarters. I believe this is cover four. Flacco flings it way down the field. Has to. Touchdown, and this game just got all and he gets burnt. I swear, Cromartie and Rivas spoil me. Comes to the line, and it's first down. Bradshaw gets past the first wave. Always good to have these types of runs. It. The quarterback is coming to the line. You know, this particular guy don't feel like he's tricky enough defensively to really fool me. It was just a matter of making the right reads and him not getting any breaks. For the first down. Good job. Not I do like the Giants passing game though. Like the receiving options a lot. About to snap it for the nine and Eli can really get it run. done. He tried to show blitz there and put himself in a bad situation, so back on top. Here a split backfield. Bring a little overload of pressure to the right there. First down and ten. Here they come. So I've given up, you know, two dicey completions, and I've been in pretty much control the rest of the way besides that. The screen gets blown up there, and that's going to happen in this damn game from time to time. You're going to give up a pass down the seam or up the sideline that will occasionally get through. But overall, if you keep on, you know, doing what you do, you should be able to minimize that. That's not going to pay off for these guys consistently in the long run. And in a situation like that, when I'm when I'm up three possessions, I'll bring more pressure. I'll bring six and seven man heat and try to go for the knockout punch like I'm doing here. Bring the same pressure again. He calls a screen. Good call by him. The play before I almost got another INT through into coverage. But that's all right, you know. He read the blitz, called the right play. Trying to work that left side. Inaccurate. Pressure again. Can you see he's not even bothering to run anymore? Second down here. Dropping the defensive tackle into the hook. I get stuck on JPP, which I, which I didn't want, and that allows that to happen. I wanted to control underneath guy there. He's looking to the right. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. And there you get a miracle. So he's pretty much only scored on, you know, miracle completions. <laughs> then you have the obligatory online ranked onside kick. Which is always a smart thing to do when you show that you can't stop anybody. Your odds of getting in are not very high. Again, he's just showing blitz trying to dupe me into a mistake, and I'm not falling for it. So this game is pretty much done. You can only rely on luck completion for so long. Crossfire blitz once again. Underneath coverage, he wants to go there, not there, pressure, sack. Bully again gets in there. Gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? He's just trying to get desperate now. He's just trying to get lucky completions. 
Just look at those throws downfield in the traffic. And they're not going to pay off for you all game. Use your pick, and that's going to ice it for him. Good job that time by the defense. And you're controlling those underneath backers and underneath rubber defenders. You want to carry the seam for as long as you can to about 15, 20 yards. Stay on the inside. Make it hard for him to leap past it inside. Make him force him to go underneath. Back to the running back. Left side. Bradshaw trying to get loose. The kick is good. So it's 40-22 and he's done. So that's the 3-4. I mean, you know, throw away the luck completions and this game wasn't really much of a hassle for me. So hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.